Are you ready to ignite your taste buds? Let's go try it. Can I actually get one of those spicy western bacon cheeseburgers? One spicy western? And that's gonna be it. Thank you. See you at the Yeah. Alright. Alright, cool. You too. Thank you. Have a good one. Now it's time to go try it. Here's the spicy western bacon cheeseburger. Is it worth a pickup? Let's find out. The spicy western bacon cheeseburger is gonna feature a charbroiled all beef patty, jalapenos, two strips of bacon, pepper jack cheese, onion rings, barbecue sauce, and it's all on top of a sesame seed bun. The original one doesn't come with cheese at all. Essentially what they've done is taken their classic Western bacon cheeseburger and spiced it up, right? <laughs> Spice up that like button while we're at it. Those are the only two factors that are really making this spicy are the jalapenos and pepper jack cheese. We're going to see how hot it is when we go in for the attack. The burger was originally released back in 2020, but it's back for a limited time. This one comes in a couple different sizes. There's a single, double, and a triple. I got the single today. The single is 810 calories. The double is 1,060 calories. The price for a single burger alone is $7.09. For a small combo, it's $10.69. You can get one of these for $5 right now. So there's the Western one. There's a spicy Western one and then there is um i forget what that one the other one's called I'll, I'll put it up here on the screen pretty awesome deal if you ask me let's see if this burger is picture perfect take it on out of here all right has like a little has a little like uh wrapping around it pretty nice all right oh whoa -ho -ho. hey watch out cannot get dirty i am at work all right carl's jr Gave me some napkins at least, and there's no spillage on my clothes at least. <laughs> here it is, gotta be careful with this one, my gosh, all right. Let's throw the picture up here. Okay, so here it is, this is what I got, and uh, now we're comparing it to the picture. Uh, let's see, all right, it's in frame, all right, cool. Um, yeah, just do a 360 here. We're seeing the uh, jalapenos, or one jalapeno. We're seeing the bacon kind of like, um, kind of dragged out of it or kind of hanging out of it. <laughs> it doesn't look... I mean, it looks fine, I mean, but uh, yeah, it just kind of looks kind of sad there. Seeing some of the barbecue sauce. I don't see the pepper jack cheese on this one. Oh, yeah, one little spot where the pepper jack cheese is hanging out right there. Y'all can see that. Uh, onion rings, yep, we're seeing the onion rings. Uh, this one does look pretty pitiful compared to the picture, though, right? Like, <sighs> compared to the picture, you see the elements, but it doesn't look very presentable, right? I'm going to have to give this one a C. It looks... <laughs> It looks kind of slapped together. The jalapenos are just barely hanging out. That's what just fell on my clothes right now. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a C. It's close up time. It has a special wrapping Western, well, it's just a sticker. <laughs> what am I saying? It's just a sticker. Let's take it apart and see what we got. Take the hood off here. Oh man, yeah, they really packed this one with jalapenos, dang. All right, all right. We got a couple pieces of bacon strips. Yeah, they. Hey, Carl's Jr., they got it. I got to give it to them. They say there's two pieces of bacon. These are full-on bacon strips. Awesome. Awesome, Carl's Jr. Let's move all these jalapenos onto the other side just so we can get a look at that cheese. Always feel bad dismantling it, but we got to get a close-up, right? We got to get our close-up. There's the pepper jack cheese. Doesn't look exactly like the same pepper jack cheese that's in the picture. You know, obviously you don't see those um, peppers sprinkled through the cheese like in the picture, but... All right, we got the onion rings. We got a little bit of barbecue sauce, just a little bit. But um, yeah, charbroiled beef patty, looking good. Let's see if we can get a cool full on picture. There's the beef patty. That's gonna do it for this one. That cashier did not want to be on camera. She, she see, I thought she seemed kind of happy at first, but uh, as I was driving away, she was like kind of mumbling like, I do not like that at all. So uh, <laughs> anyways. I always try to respect people, especially if they make it vocal that they don't want to be on camera. Anyways, I didn't get a combo today, but I did get a waffle fry. I haven't tried these out before, so um, I haven't tried these out from Carl's Jr. at least, so let's see if they're any good. There it is right there. Oh, yeah, that looks nice on the camera. Wow, that looks really good. It, it looks pretty good in person, too, so let's try it out. Not bad, not bad. These are $4 uh, for a size like this. All right, it's that time. If you want to see me attack more food, hit the subscribe button. It's time to go in for the attack.
there is cross section. Feeling some spice, feeling some heat right now. On the heat meter, I'm gonna give this one, I'm gonna give it about a five out of 10. It's, uh, it's it, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Most of the heat is coming from those jalapenos. Pepper jack cheese, I don't think it's giving off much heat. It, if anything, it's very, very subtle. Uh, but the jalapenos is where the heat is at, of course. So it's time for the 40 second breakdown. The jalapenos, uh, like I said, they're spicy. They're pretty flavorful. Um, they call them jalapeno coins in the description, but anyways, the pepper jack cheese, it is adding a nice meltiness to the burger overall, but it is getting lost. The profile, the, the, the flavor profile of that pepper jack cheese is getting kind of lost in all of this. The beef patty, as usual from Carl's Jr. is pretty good. I really like their beef patties. I like the onion rings. They're pretty good. They're really nice and crispy. And then on the bottom there, we got the barbecue sauce. Pretty classic barbecue sauce. It's really tangy, really cutting through through everything. I think that may be why I'm not tasting the pepper jack cheese really well. Texturally, I would say this is pretty good. I like the crunchiness from the onion rings, the little pops from the jalapenos. It doesn't taste like microwave bacon or anything. And that concludes the 40 second breakdown. Before I give the rating, let's talk about a few things. Did Carl do the classic justice here? Um... You know, I think it's pretty tasty. I think it's overall pretty tasty. <laughs> Falling apart here. Uh, I think it's pretty tasty. The jalapenos did add a nice touch. Maybe a spicy barbecue sauce. That probably would have made this thing a lot different. Should it stay permanently on the menu? I'll put the price of the original one up. If the upcharge is too much, I'm going to say no. But if it's the same price, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, if you're going to go for the classic one, might as well get this one. Uh, give it a try if you want a little spice. Yeah, for sure. Time for the rating. I'm going to rate the spicy... Oh, I'm getting choked. I'm messing myself up now. I'm gonna rate the spicy western bacon cheeseburger from Carl's Jr. I'm gonna give it a solid 7.5. It's actually pretty good. Really, really good. Really, really uh, flavorful, I would say, especially if you like spice or something. Overall, it, it was pretty good. And I'll see you on the next one somewhere right here. Somewhere right here.